I think interdisciplinarity is really ingrained in the project because of the nature of the project. What we really needed to bring the project forward was support from lots of different mm -hmm. departments and, and individual groups and people and yeah. the individuals across the uni. So we started out going around the uni, having lots of conversations and the shed just grew from something that was only a couple of square metres to mm -hmm. something that's now well, getting on for 300 square metres, really. Yeah, everyone found a new use for it. I think that's a large part of what the project has been, yeah. is that as students, we've been a kind of forum, we've been uh, yeah, a forum for people to discuss ideas and for ideas to meet in a way that they haven't done yeah. in, other, in other ways without university. We're sitting in the middle and we've got, yeah, we've got states that kind of on one branch of it. Going to be helpful with actually getting the practical side through, and we've got kind of IAFL and Rakia coming up here, helping us develop the uh, the teaching and learning side, and we've got other, lots of other groups relating to the finance and uh, the governance. But the key thing is, it's not it's not just a case of you know the the economics works how much it's going to cost, or the engineer working out how it's going to be built, because you need a central vision guiding it. That that is what we do. That's our core role leading the project. Mm -hmm. So you can't, so you have to have this interdisciplinary mindset to incorporate all those aspects. So we're not just thinking of it now as we initially did as an engineering project. We have to learn and incorporate the ideas of IF when we're here and teaching and learning. We have to mm -hmm. look at go to departments around the university relating to business use of space on campus. Yeah. And we have to to learn the way they do things and we have to incorporate that into our vision. So interdisciplinarity is key because you can't achieve anything working with the different departments if you don't understand their aims and their goals and what it is that drives them. I'd say we haven't outsourced elements of the project to the relevant departments. I'd say the more we've sucked the departments into yes. the project. Yeah, I think that's true. So we haven't said you look after the maintenance of the building, yeah. work out how it's going to be maintained. We've dragged that person in and said, we want your expertise on the maintenance of it so yeah. that we all understand it and then we can all yeah. appreciate what we need to do to support that. So no one really sits in isolation with a project like this. And I think because of that, it's hard to approach a, dep a whole department and say, support the project. What we tend mm -hmm. to do is go to a, a particular individual who seems of the right mindset to be able to support the project and we brought that individual in. And I think that's another part of understanding how the university works. It isn't just a cluster of departments, it's lots and lots of individuals, many of which mm -hmm. we keep bumping into in different, um, at different times.